Hello again, this is Dr. Michael Myers and I'm course lead faculty for BST 322, Introduction to Biomedical Statistics at National University in San Diego. In this short presentation, I'm going to go over for you how to create a contingency table using the summary function in StatCrunch. So, in my previous video, we went through this example of this vitamin C group and basically we had a study, very small study, where we did a demonstration of how to set up a cross-tab table or contingency table using the data set. So we had, for example, six people who took a sugar pill, six people who took a vitamin C pill. In the vitamin C group, only one person got a cold. In the sugar pill group, four people got a cold. So we can code the data however we want, yes or no, ones or twos, but this is basically the data here, right? Again, here's our four people in the sugar group that got a cold, and two people here and coded for two that did not get a cold. And same thing for the vitamin C group. Well, what we know is, right, when we did the table last time with the data, is our final table that we ended up with, that we had a fix in Word, we put the dependent variable, the cold status, into the rows, right, and the column we put the independent variable, right, this was the group. So we can also do this with the summary data once we have that data, and sometimes all we get is the summary numbers, right, the total numbers for each group. So we can do that very easily in StatCrunch, and I'll show you how to do that very quickly here. So again, if we open up our StatCrunch and we go in, we can put the data in. Now to use the summary data, we're not going to do the thing where we had each patient being a row, right, where we ended up with 12 rows for our 12 patients. For the summary data, we're going to put our in this first column here, we're going to put our row variable or our dependent variable. So in this case, it's going to be the cold status. So we can even label that. Uh, so actually, this one is a, right the cold status, so we can just put cold up here. And this time it's going to be yes or no. So we put no into the first row, yes into the second row. So we're putting our, our uh, row variable here in this first column. The next two columns, we're just going to put the numbers in that we have, right? So this is going to be our no or our sugar group, or whatever we want to call it for our independent variable. We're going to put that in these two columns here. So in this column, we'll call it the vitamin C group. So really, we're kind of creating that final version of the table with the numbers, but then we're going to make StatCrunch do all the row percentages and column percentages and totals for us. So again, the sugar group, there was two people there that didn't get a cold, and most of the group in the sugar group got a cold. So four goes there. Five people didn't get a cold in the vitamin C group, and only one did. So you notice that we're just plotting in these numbers into StatCrunch to create our table with the summary results. So then once we have the data in, we simply go up to the Stat tab, Tables, Contingency, and instead of with data, we're going to click with summary, and then we're going to tell StatCrunch where the data is as soon as the dialog box appears. So we select the columns for the table, that's going to be the sugar and the vitamin C, and then the row labels are going to go from our cold status, right? That was our row variable in the first column there. Then we simply click Next, and again we're going to click on our row percent, column percent, percent of total, expected count we're going to do when we do the chi-square, so we'll leave that for now, and we'll take that test off for now, and we just hit Calculate and it creates our table for us. So again, this is with our summary function, so then we're just going to put this into Word, and we can fix the columns putting in the percent within cold, percent within group, and percent of total, so these are the row and the column percentages and then the total, but it's all now there in our column, we just need to go ahead and fix these exact labels in Word, and we're all set. So again, StatCrunch is very easily can do your contingency table for you if you just set up the format in where you put the first column, you put the row variable in, then the next two columns are going to be the independent variable, and we put those in the next two columns, and then we have StatCrunch do the data from there using the Stat tab, contingency tables, and with summary.